Hi, I'm Pete from Players Academy and today I wanted to talk to you about writing songs using the four chord trick. So I was watching James's video on lyric writing last week and I thought it would be really good to talk to you about some ways in that we can use chords as building blocks for songs. In particular, there's one set of chords that work really well together and turn up in lots and lots of songs you'll have heard. Now if those chords sound familiar to you, it's because they turn up in that order in a lot of pop songs. Um, from Let It Be by The Beatles, to No Woman No Cry by Bob Marley, to Poker Face by Lady Gaga, to Someone You Love by Louis Capaldi. So the chords I played there were G, D, E minor, and C. But for our purposes today, it's probably easier to talk about them as scale intervals. So we call them 1, 5, 6, 4. Uh, what those numbers relate to is where the root note of the chord falls in the scale of the key we're playing in. Uh, so these, I'm playing these in G major. Uh, this is a G major scale. So all we're doing is thinking of those notes as being 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So that chord progression we've just played, we, we, we talk about as being 1, five, six, four. So we normally write them as Roman numerals. Uh, capital letters mean a major chord and lowercase letters mean a minor chord. This means we can think about the chords much more in terms of their relationship to each other uh, and find them easily in any key. So I've just played them in G, but you could do them in C. Or in A. Or in D, or indeed in any of the 12 keys. Now you might be sitting there asking why you would want to use chords that have been done lots of times before in your song, um, but the great thing about these chords is because they do work so well together, you can pretty much put them in any order you can think of and end up with something really pleasing to the ear. So you could try playing it through once and then adding a variation the second time. You could try making some of the chords longer or shorter. Um, you could try changing the order, you could do one, six, four, five. That's sometimes called the 50s chord progression. It turns up in lots of old songs like Stand By Me or Unchained Melody or The Monster Mash. Um, you could try one, four, six, five. Um, that appears in Shotgun amongst other things. If you wanted to write something that sounds a bit sad or melancholy, you can start with the minor chord. Um, you can repeat some of the chords so it's not just a straightforward loop. Uh, you could even add, use those four chords as your starting point and then add in an extra chord or swap one of them out for something different. Um, if you're doing them in G, like I am, then you could add in an A minor, um, which is a two in Roman numerals, or a B minor, that's the three. Uh, that would sound really nice.
So if you've been writing lyrics this week, hopefully that might give you a starting point to help put them to music. If you haven't written any lyrics yet, why not just try putting some of those chords together in whatever order you find pleasing and singing over them to see what you come up with. Keep safe. Mm -hmm.